All right, here's my gear. So uh, upon further inspection of the uh, of the shocks, I think I have to change the the fork oil on this. I, I think it's short oil. Okay. Well, I know for sure we need nitrogen. We need to put nitrogen in it. Okay. But if you look at this, see, well, I don't know. It seems okay. Yeah. See. So I don't know if it's supposed to be like that because I don't know. I don't think this shock has like a high speed circuit or something high, high or low speed uh rates on it but i can feel like the dampening chain see it gets looser this way is okay but then see when i pull it out it just like just suddenly poof, all the way and i have every i have it everything all the way tight okay i, I have it at the highest no i don't i have it in the middle setting well anyway let's put it Let's put it on the stiffest settings, okay? Okay, everything's at the stiffest settings and... Yeah, see? When it rebounds, I can feel like a... I can feel like an air in there, you know? Now, I don't know if, uh... I don't know if, uh, um... Uh, was it changing the uh, uh, adding nitrogen to it all right filling up the bladder will help um, change that you know to help help get that air out of there okay I can definitely tell there's air in there look at that on the compression it's okay but on rebound see it's kind of it kind of it comes out all of a sudden okay so if you look at the KLX shock this one's like a lot newer see how much see how smooth the action is see this shock is still in good shape see it's it's consistent consistent uh, dampening throughout the whole stroke so that leads me to believe that that needs that needs a shock sort that needs a shock service. Okay, it's not leaking, but but uh, all, all I'm gonna do is change the oil. Okay, we're gonna change the oil and refill it, and uh, so that'll be that'll be in the next. What we video, gotta do okay? to modify the sh the shock to get this to fit on the KLX is switch the clevises out. Okay, okay. So before we get too far into this, let's uh, take the bump stop out of the the package. Okay, so this is the new one we're going to install, so it definitely looks a lot newer than the one that's on here, <laughs> so okay. So we're going to pretty much move all this stuff over here, okay. So I heard there's a plunger in the in the rod, okay, and that could uh, that could get uh, damaged. I mean, that it could pop out, so you want to do your best not to pop that plunger out, okay. Um, I guess it doesn't matter because we're going to be servicing it anyways, but... Okay, so... We're gonna go take the clevis off of the uh, KLX or the KX um, shock. So I put a rag here so it wouldn't it won't mess up the surfaces. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take the clevis off of the uh, KX shock. I'm gonna do that as like this. And then I think it's got to be the other way. So put it in like this, and then we're just going to squeeze them. Oh, I kind of need a bigger one. Hmm. Okay, another th another thing we can do is we can just put the clevis in here. Okay, and then we're just gonna, oh my god, it's so tight, unless it's backwards. Okay, so what I've done is I've put the uh, the clevis in the vise. That way, I got something to hold it, or 
Uh, this wasn't working. It wasn't grabbing it enough. Okay, and it took quite a bit of force to get it out. Okay, well, there it is. Okay. And now we can just rotate, take the clevis out of the vise now. And this rotate the clevis on the shaft. Okay, and then make sure the plunger doesn't come out. Okay. So make sure this part, this little needle thing, doesn't come out, okay? All right, there it is. So we're, we're probably just going to wind up putting this on the the KLX shock, okay? Um, you can probably just keep the nut on there, okay? We'll, we'll still reuse that same nut. Okay, so there's the KX done. Uh, also, we'll probably use the KLX collar, okay? Since I don't know if these are different, but let's put that there for now, all right? Okay, if you're wondering what it looks like, there it is. That's what it looks like up close. It's just this kind of this little guy just this little nipple just sticking out here okay make sure that doesn't fall out all right all right okay so we're gonna go take the clevis off the klx shock now put it into the device and then we're gonna proceed to take the klx one off This is really tight. This is tighter than the other one. Probably gonna want to have to use a hammer. Okay, this one is much harder to take out than the other one. <laughs> the other one is pretty hard to get out, but this one. Should be able to, to just spin it off. Okay, so what I'm having to do is just untie. I don't know how we're gonna get that nut back, <laughs> but um, just use the nut to take the uh, clevis out. I did spray some WD-40 on it, so hopefully that helps. I don't know how we're gonna get that that nut out of there now. Okay. This was significantly harder to get out than the KX one, okay? Okay. So there it is. Yeah, it looks like there was some kind of Loctite in there or something. Alright. So, we're going to reuse... Whoa, whoa, yeah, the plunger wants to just pop out. <laughs> okay, we're gonna reuse this, okay? But we're gonna, we're still gonna use the same, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, we're gonna put this back, I'm just gonna put this back on the, on the KLX one. Yeah, the plunger wants to pop out. Yeah, it's wanting to pop out, so don't let it pop out, hold it down. Okay, so we're gonna put, we're gonna put this little collar back in. Oh, oh, oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, this is the KLX one. Yeah, we're gonna put this. We're gonna put the KX collar back on this one. Okay, and we're gonna put the KX clevis on this. Okay. Okay. I don't know how we're gonna get that. <laughs> Cut that nut nut out. And probably the opposite way we did it, right?
Okay, so I've put the uh, I put the uh, um, the KX Clevis on the KLX shock. Okay, so I don't know what the hell we're gonna do with this now. <laughs> Honestly, all right. So now we're gonna go get the KX shock. So that's another reason this leads me the uh, it leads me to believe that this uh, was not the right. Uh, uh, it needs a service because like there's no oil in there. Okay, there's no oil. There's no air. That kind of stuff. We're gonna put this guy. After I clean it, let's clean it up a little bit, make it look pretty. It's probably the same one. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're gonna, so this one didn't have a bump stop, so we're gonna put our, put the bump stop on here, okay? So it's gonna go like, oh, we have to take the, we have to take the nut off. Okay, we gotta take the, this <laughs> like impossible, man. What the heck? Okay, I very carefully put it on the vise with the with the the shaft on there. Hopefully that will help. No, it just spins. Just... Alright, here's me here. I'm gonna bend it a pickle here, alright? Um so I can't get this nut off and we need to take this nut off to put the bump stop on it, okay? Uh if if not, then I wouldn't even bother taking it off. But uh um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a jam. Okay, okay. here's my here's the, my concoction here <laughs> So it's I grinded the nut a, a few millimeters. Hopefully it'll work. Okay guys. I'm, I'm defeated. Okay <laughs> This is turning out to be a crappy vlog. Okay um, anyway um, so what, What's gonna happen is uh, I'm gonna have to disassemble the shock Okay to get this nut out just just to get this nut out. Okay just to get the just to get the little bumper in there, man. The 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 bump stop. Can you believe it? Just just to get this in there, I've got to go through all this trouble. Hmm. I've never had this much trouble getting a clevis out. By the way, I've done this before. Okay, I've done it a couple times. Um, but we're gonna have to disassemble the shock, and um, yeah. So okay. So yeah, we're gonna have to disassemble the shock on the top of the piston. There's a nut on top, okay, and we can use that to remove this. To we'll hold that, use that to hold the shaft. There is also a tool that clamps onto the shaft, okay, and it'll keep it from moving. But I don't have that tool. Um, it uh, supposedly it clamps onto the shaft without damaging it, so I, I don't have that freaking tool. So one thing I could do is take it to a uh, a shop, okay. But um. Since we're going to disassemble it anyways, let's go do it. <laughs> okay.